So for example, if you wanted to know the operating system, okay, we could use the info function here. Let's try system here. What does that give? And that gives us PCDOS. There are specific situations where you have VBA code that runs on Windows, but doesn't run on Mac. So if you could put a conditional statement in the code saying, if the value in this cell is PCDOS, then do this. If the value is Mac, then do that. Uh, no, that could conceivably be uh, useful. Let's say file path here. So info and then directory. This would allow you to do more than that. Not only get a unique file name, but but um, determine where to save the file as well. So do you want to save the file in this location? You could use this uh, info formula. I use that formula, you know, and just take just take the first two parts, C users, Morty, for example, and then use that to get you to a certain location. So I could see that being useful you know, in lots of different situations. This origin one, uh, this is just crazy. Like I didn't think Excel would even be able to do this. So if we go to origin, so just hit the tab key there, origin, it's going to return a cell reference, A296. So can, can you see this cell here, H307, so info origin, a296 is the top left visible cell. I'm just going to scroll up a few rows, recalculate, hit the F9 key. Now it's 291. Did you see that? So just keep a very careful eye on this cell. I'm going to hit F9 again here. And now it's 289. It's almost like you could, for, using conditional formatting, you could just format the area of the spreadsheet that the user is using. Do something like that? Would that even be useful? I, I like this one, recalculation. Okay, let's go recalc here, automatic. What does this refer to? What calculation mode do you have for Excel? What calculation mode is it in? How do you control calculation mode? And you know what's it useful for? Well, you go to formulas, calculation options. Let's just remind ourselves, by default, it's in automatic mode, okay? And Unless you're an advanced user, just keep it in automatic mode. That's absolutely fine. But there are very exceptional circumstances where you might want to switch it to manual. And what does Excel look like when it's in manual mode? Well, let's have a very simple formula here. So let's just add up these two cells. And then what this does is it removes the defining behavior, the one thing that people actually like about Excel, which is instant calculation. So this formula is the two adjacent cells aggregated, added up, you change the value and this cell doesn't change. So it's saying three plus four equals two. That's because Excel is in manual calculation mode. So that Excel will only calculate, work out all the formulae when we force a calculation. You do that by clicking the, cal the calculator up here, calculate now, or you can hit the F9 key and Excel is going to calculate. And did you notice that Excel just ticked over that, just ticked over the, the, the formula? Now that could be useful using this formula, you could alert the user that we're in manual calculation. Because, you know, one of my critiques of Excel is it's not obvious what calculation mode you're in. You might say, well, Chris, 99.99% of people are just using automatic mode. That's true. But if you do get into manual mode somehow, you really need to tell the user that, I think. And if I put Excel in manual mode now, it looks exactly the same. That's because it's still in automatic mode. If I change this to manual, and then hit the F9 key here, um, yeah, then, then it will take over to manual. But I saw a problem with this formula there. It has to calculate in order to actually switch over into automatic or, or manual mode. A recalc release version of Excel. And I can see that being useful. I mean, yeah, not massively useful, but what about um, version of Excel here? Now, this might affect your design choices. Um, so what formula to use? You know, you can't use XLOOKUP on an older version of Excel. Again, could be only in a kind of, only it's going to make a marginal difference, but it's, it's kind of interesting. It's just, it's just interesting to know that Excel is kind of holding this information in its memory and we can access it uh, if we need to. It's Chris here. And if you enjoyed this video, I've got a special treat for you. We've got a full one hour session from our members Monday community. It's absolutely free. All you have to do is sign up, put your email into the link below this video. We will email you some information about our fantastic members Monday community, but it's absolutely free. It's a one hour session. The link is in the video description below.